Hello distinguished subscribers and welcome to Key to Learning Italian. In this video we are going to see a multiple choice test of level A1, livello elementare, elementary level. So we're going to see a total of 12 questions in which there are um, multiple choices among which we should choose the right answer. Scegli la risposta esatta. So let's start. Ciao, come sto? B stanno, ci stai. A sto, B stanno, ci stai. Which one is the answer to this question? So, I mean, in the blank, we should put the verb stai. They're all different conjugations of the verb stare. But the right choice is this one, C, stai, the conjugation of the second singular person to the verb stare, stai. Ciao, ciao, hi, how are you? Ciao, come stai? That's the question. Due, quanti anni tu? So the verb should be conjugated in the second singular person, tu, you in English. A, A, I, I, C, O. Quanti anni hai? Il verbo avere. The verb is to have. That we use when we want to ask the question, how old are you? In Italian, we use the verb avere to ask this question. And the conjugation of the verb avere in the second singular person in simple present tense is quanti anni hai? quanti anni hai? this is the right choice so let's continue Tre. here we have a mini dialogue between two people a asks, come ti chiami? Come ti chiami? Which means, what's your name? So, the answer should be, A, mi chiami? B, ti chiamo? C, mi chiamo? La risposta esatta è, the right answer is, mi chiamo Paola. Mi chiamo Paola. Il verbo è chiamarsi. È un verbo riflessivo che si usa per fare la domanda come ti chiami. It's a reflexive verb that we use to ask how, uh, what the name of the person that we have in front of us. Quattro. Hai matita. Avere, as we have previously seen, is the verb avere, is the verb to have. And here it has another meaning, to have something, to possess something. Matita. So we should choose the right article for this word. Pencil. And the right uh, article. Articolo indeterminativo. Per la parola matita è... Una. Hai una matita? È un sostantivo femminile, uh, singolare ovviamente, è l'articolo indeterminativo che usiamo per questo sostantivo è una. Hai una matita? Do you have a pencil? So let's continue. Quanti libri nella borsa? Nella borsa means in the bag. Quanti libri? How many books? So the verb to use here would be there is, there are. In Italian, the verb that we use for asking how many, how much of there, something there is in a given place, we use esserci. Esserci. And since in the question we have plural 
noun, libri, anziché libro, instead of libro, we have libri, books, how many books? So, it should be in the plural form. And the verb esserci, in the plural form, in presente indicativo, simple present tense, is quanti libri ci sono? Quanti libri ci sono nella borsa? E questa è la domanda, and this is the question. A c'è. C'è is the singular version of the verb esserci in the sing in present simple tense. E sono non è esiste una cosa del genere. It doesn't exist. Anything like that. Ci sono is the plural version. Sei. Italiani? Punto interrogativo. Punto interrogativo? Question mark. A. Sei. B. E. Ci siete. So here it's in the plural form. So, Italiani, are you Italian? The question should be this way. In Italian, we should ask this question. Are you Italian? But are you all Italian? So we're asking them, um, or we're talking about somebody. Are they Italian? So among the, the choices that we have here, the only plural verb we have is siete. So we choose this one. Siete is the conjugation of the second plural person of the verb essere al presente indicativo. Siete italiani? Are you all Italians? Yes, we are. Si, siamo italiani. Could be the answer. Sei is the conjugation of the second singular person. Tu sei? E lei, lui, è, is the conjugation of the third singular person. Okay, so let's continue. Another mini dialogue. A. Cosa? Puntini, 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 a colazione. Cosa? Blank. A colazione. Cosa? What? A colazione for breakfast. So we're asking something re regarding the breakfast. And the answer will give us some idea about it. And the B says, Una tazza di caffè. A cup of coffee. Una tazza di caffè. So, it should be referring to the verb to drink. And we have three verbs here again. A. Bevi. B. Mangi. C. Ascolti. Bere, to drink. Mangiare, to eat. Ascoltare means to listen. So, bere would be the right choice. And this asks, cosa bevi a colazione? What do you drink at breakfast? Una tazza di caffè. And B replies saying, a cup of coffee. Cosa bevi? Bere is the verb in the infinitive form and bevo, io bevo, I drink tu bevi, you drink so we put this one question number 8 le lettere vocali nella parola straordinario sono here we have this word straordinario and it has vowels those ones and consonants obviously so we should count the vowels, the number of vowels that exist in this word, which are one, two, three, four, five, six. Tre would be three, quattro would be four, sei is six. So we choose this one. Okay, so let's continue. Nove. Il numero sixteen. Si scrive. How do you write the number sixteen in Italian? A. Sedici. B. Sedici. C. Diciasei. So... The right choice is this one. Sedici. 
16. We write 16 like this. 16. 10. Mangio. Puntini, puntini, puntini. Tramezzino. Mangio. The verb is mangiare, to eat. I eat blank. Tramezzino. It's a type of sandwich in the triangle form. So, mangio un tramezzino, uno tramezzino oppure una tramezzino. We say, when we look at the final letter of the word, that it's a masculine word, masculine noun, and it's also singular. So, we should choose this one, un tramezzino. Let's continue. Undici. Aspetto. Puntini, puntini, puntini. Amico. Aspettare. Il verbo aspettare means to wait. I'm waiting for a friend. Here we should put the right article. Articolo indeterminativo. Un amico, una amico, pure uno amico. Again, this one is a masculine noun and also singular and starts with a vowel. So, we should choose this one. Aspetto un amico. I'm waiting for a friend. Dodici. Twelve. Noi, puntini, 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 le chiavi della casa. Noi, blank, the keys of the house. We are looking for. The verb cercare means to look for. And when conjugated in the first plural person, noi, we, it should be, is it a cerco, b cerciamo, or ci cerchiamo. The right answer is ci cerchiamo. Cerchiamo le chiavi della casa. So, this is the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.